KEPSA leads discussion on recovery of the aviation sector and allied sectors. Kenya Healthcare Federation holds its annual roundup forum. Gender and Youth Sector Board reflects on key gains in 2020. Tax training for online workers. ASNET launches a three-year strategic plan. KEPSA members India get together. MSME loan beneficiaries appreciate the financial boost. Welcome to KEPSA Weekly Bulletin. Every week, we will be sharing stories of KEPSA activities and events. These are some of KEPSA's biggest stories this week. On 9th December 2020, KEPSA, with the support of the Kenya Airline Pilots Association, led discussions among stakeholders in the aviation sector to explore initiatives to spur the economy and revamp the aviation sector that has been adversely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The focus of the meeting was to start a discussion on the impact of COVID-19 on the aviation industry and allied sectors and come up with proposals to mitigate the adverse effect of the pandemic on these sectors. KEPSA Deputy CEO Ms. Martha Cheruto noted that the COVID-19 pandemic had affected businesses globally, with the aviation industry being among the worst affected sectors. She added that the aviation sector plays a key role in economic growth and development as a logistics powerhouse and revenue generator for Kenya and the region due to its linkages with various sectors. The KEPSA Health Sector Board, Kenya Healthcare Federation, hosted the 2020 Annual Roundup Forum on 10th December 2020. The virtual event brought together health sector players to celebrate the successes and achievements in the health sector, as well as to chart a way forward into the coming year. The event led by KHF top leadership was graced by Ministry of Health Chief Administrative Secretaries, Dr. Masi Mwangangi and Dr. Rashid Aman. In her remarks, Dr. Mwangangi highlighted some of the remarkable collaborations such as an engagement with the Architects Association of Kenya which is informing the redevelopment of the ministry's infrastructure, collaboration in the development of protocols which are now available at the ministry's website, supporting the supply chain through donations, the contribution of private sector laboratories during the pandemic, and other various innovative approaches that have furthered discussions towards mitigating the pandemic. The KEPS Agenda and Youth Sector Board, led by Chairperson Ms. Eva Muraya, held its final meeting of the year, aimed to discuss the progress of the sector board and reflect on key achievements of the year 2020 on 9th December. Ms. Muraya noted that 2020 was a disrupted year due to the global crisis, COVID-19. Reflecting on the impact to businesses where some were forced to close down and others transitioned to other ventures. Findings highlighted that most women-led businesses were in the agriculture, forestry and fisheries sectors, followed by wholesale and retail trade, and then the tourism sector. Businesses also reported challenges such as reduced customer numbers, reduced cash flows, lost revenue, reduced capital to operate their businesses, among others. KEPSA, through the Ajira Digital team, participated in a virtual tax workshop for online workers on 10th December 2020, hosted by Grant Thornton and the Online Professional Workers Association of Kenya. The forum sought to sensitize the online workers on their tax obligations, the new regulations that include the digital service tax, and how the digital tax will impact their work. The tax will be charged at a rate of 1.5% of the gross transaction value and is due at the time of transfer of the payment for the service to the service provider. The digital service tax comes into effect from January 2021 and will apply to residents and non-resident persons provided the income is derived or accrued from Kenya from the provision of services through a digital marketplace. The Agriculture Sector Network officially unveiled a three-year strategic plan on 11th December 2020 at Crown Plaza Hotel in Nairobi. The launch brought together government officials, development partners, businesses and associations who expressed optimism in the ability of ASNET to deliver sector-wide transformation using the strategic plan as the driver of change. The climax of the event was the unveiling of the strategic plan, which was graced by Dr. Harry Kim Tai, who lauded KEPSA and other partners for establishing and launching ASNET. KEPSA held a members' end year get-together on 11th December 2020 to assess the year-long progress and celebrate the advocacy wins. The virtual event was graced by the Secretary General of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, Dr. Mukisa Kitui, EGH. Speaking during the event, KEPSA CEO Ms. Carol Karuga said that the pandemic made it clear on the need to plan differently, bearing in mind that things could change and always think of how to adapt to a new world. The KEPSA chair, Mr. Nick Nesbitt, added that he was glad to see businesses displaying ingenuity in their response to the pandemic, right from the transformation of the aviation industry to the horticulture sector. 
He urged members to monitor their movements keenly and avoid large family gatherings during the festive season. Loan beneficiaries of the MSME COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program by KEPSA and MasterCard Foundation have embarked on the process of salvaging and boosting their businesses. This is after the program disbursed the first batch of loans. Ms. Yunis Maina, the founder of Bismart Insurance, is one of the first beneficiaries of this program. It's so, so hard to get money in this country. Even if you're looking for investors, the documentations you need to do before you get an investor, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of back and forth. So this one was so easy. So far, a total of Kenya shillings 2,910,000 has been disbursed to nine businesses derived from the real estate, insurance, retail and education sectors. Applications for the loan are open on www.smekepsa.or.ke. That's a look on Kepsa Weekly Bulletin. For more on these and other stories, please head over to www.kepsa.or.ke.